welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a brow tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how I personally like to use my brow. I'm going to be sharing you my tips and tricks, products I use. I'm going to be going through the entire process and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this and also don't forget to comment. Let me know what you guys thought about the video, what kind of products you personally like to use for your brows, any brow gels you'd like to suggest or recommend to me. Please comment down below and as always thank you so much for watching. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started on drying in our brows, I wanted to go in and give you three tips that I feel have make the biggest difference on keeping your brow game on point. And maybe something that you guys haven't considered before, so I wanted to share them with you. So tip number one is grooming. I feel like for me personally, it's, if it's either tweezing for you, threading, waxing, keeping your brows groomed I feel makes the biggest difference and helps at least for me to be able to consistently draw in my brows the same way consistently over and over. And I feel like it just makes it easier for me to draw the, my brows in. So that is tip number one. So make sure to keep them groomed. Tip number two. Tip number two, I feel like it is finding out what kind, what is your pencil or your product style. If it's a having drawing your brows in with a thick pencil, a thin pencil, pomade. I mean, there's so many ways that you can do your brows that it's finding what works for you and what is your style. For me personally, trial and error, I just personally like using a thick pencil because I feel like it's just easier for me to draw them in quickly. And I just like them a little bit more dramatic, my brows. I like my brows to look a little bit more dramatic than I feel like other people. And so just figuring that, figuring that out I feel like would be the biggest tool for you because then you know how to draw them in and you, you just know you have your own flow of things. Tip number three. Tip number three I feel like it is finding, finding the perfect brow shade. And this can be really tricky. I feel like it's taken me years to finally understand and and get the idea. So my biggest tip for you guys at home, when you're going to the store and you're looking for a brow pencil, you're saying, okay, I'm blonde, or I'm a dark, my hair, natural hair color is black, or my natural hair color is, you know, medium brown. I would say pick a like color, a shade, one to two shades lighter than your natural hair color, especially if you have like undertones within your hair, um, just because you never want your brows to be too prominent. You don't want them to be too bold and too, you know, like too dark. Because for me personally, I feel like brows should be a complement of your face. It should soften the face. It should put, pull everything that, you know, you applied on your face, your eyeshadow, your lips, your contour, your blush. You should pull it all together, you know, it should be look like a painting together. It should all melt into one. So when your brows are just really strong and just out there and look really forceful or really bold, I just don't feel like it it complements you very well. So that would be my biggest trip tip to you guys. For me personally, my hair right now, my natural hair color is black. I personally get medium to soft brown uh, for my for my brows just because I feel like it's a little bit lighter than my natural hair color but it still really softens the look on your face. Okay, as you can tell the camera is zoomed in closer to my face. <laughs> you can see everything and as you can tell I have my mirror right here. It's going to help me obviously be able to see what I'm drawing in and it's just going to be able to give me a more precise um, visual on where what I'm doing to my brows. <laughs> and also if you hear puffing, kind of snorting, my dog puffing, he's my little Shitsu. He is spending time with his mama. He's under the table just hanging out with me. So don't mind him if you can hear him like snorting and stuff like that. He's a little shih tzu. So. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with our brows. So what I personally like to use to dry in my brows, and it's one of my favorite products. We all probably have used this or heard about it. It's been very, very popular. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This, you guys, I feel like I can do my brows within 10 minutes tops. It is my favorite. I love it because it's a thick pencil and I love it because it has a little spoolie at the end and I just honestly love that it comes with both. And I like that the pencil's thick enough. I feel like it's easier for me to draw on my brows. I'm really impatient <laughs> when for certain steps uh, during doing my makeup. So I personally like using a thicker pencil. A thinner pencil for me, I just feel like 
it's going to take me longer to do my brows because I have to do so many little brush strokes. And that to me, I don't like. I just feel like the way I do my brows, I like them how they look when I do it with a thicker pencil. So I'm a thicker pencil type of gal. So the first step I like to do is when I'm looking at my brows or when I'm considering how I'm going to do my brows, I always like to th think about it this way. Let me grab a, a brush. A so what I like to do is I always like to align the pencil to the center of my brow. So as you can see, that is the end of my brow. It's perfectly aligned there. Then when at the end, where my brow should be ending, the little tail, it should be aligning from my nose to the, uh, to the lid to the end of the little point. And then the arch of your brow should always be from the angle right over here, right above. So from the nose to the middle of your eye, that should be our arch right up there. And that's something that it takes time to learn, but with much practice, you guys, you guys will, will learn it, trust me. It's something that I've done for many, many years, and I feel like I finally got my brow game. I got it, I got it right. <laughs> so with that being said, what I like to do is obviously with my spoolie, I always like to brush my brow hairs. Just gently brush them out of the way so when I'm drawing in my brows, I can, they're not in the way, so I know what, what, which line I'm lining. So with that said, I like to personally start within the front tip of my brows, and I like to draw in my brows from the little lining. I like to draw, draw within the line of my brows all the way through. So we're gonna go ahead and lightly, lightly, not harshly, just go ahead and line our brows, just like that. Do little soft strokes, and we're just gonna go ahead and line our brows. Just do little strokes, just like that, towards the end. Do you see that? So we've just made a light little line through the entire brow, just underneath the whole brow. And then I like to go in and in the middle right over here, I like to draw it in lightly. Just shadow it a little bit more so it could be a little bit more full. And then once I do that, I like to go in on the top of my brow and then just do little light strokes to my brow. Just lightly doing a light little lining. Just do like little brush strokes, just like that. And then little by little, you can just start making them a little bit thicker. And that's why I love this pencil so much because of the angle that it's in. I just feel like it just makes it so much easier for me to, to draw them in. And then we're, we're gonna go ahead and draw a little bit of our arch. And then our brow tail. And then we're just gonna do a little bit of more hair strokes. And there you go. If you feel like you need a little bit more fullness here on the edge of the brow, you can just go ahead and lightly, at a little point of the brow pencil, we're gonna go ahead and lightly just do little wispies. I don't like to fill in too much of the front part of it. I want it to look like a light ombre effect and I want it to look as natural as possible, even though we know it's not. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and draw them in. Guys, I don't know what happened. My camera literally turned off in the middle of my session. <laughs> But like I was saying, you're just going to do brush-like strokes all throughout your brows to fill them in. So this is pretty much it. This is how I do my brows. I do them really lightly and I do brush strokes. As you can tell, it didn't even take two minutes to do. I do want to share, though, with you the color that I am using for my pencil because um, I know I was giving you some tips earlier. And I am currently using medium brown for my brow pencil and I would say this is about one shade lighter than my natural hair color. So I feel like it complements my look overall. And also I love to use a brow gel. And right now the brow gel that I've been really, really into, it is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. I honestly love this brow gel. The only downfall that I've noticed in this brow gel. I love it because it 
once I, I apply this brow gel over my my brows they stay in place all day long they will not budge which I honestly really really love but the only thing that I do not like like say for instance you have a little itch <laughs> say for instance you have a little itch or something and you just pick out your brows you get those little white flakes and they just start looking really flaky and it starts looking really gross and that's the only thing that I do not like about it but if you're looking for a stronghold brow brow gel this is the best I've tried a few and I haven't been a fan but so far I really really love this one because it really does hold them in place and they do not move um, but the only downside I would say is a flakiness so I'm currently looking for a new brow gel guys l comment down below tell me what kind of brow gel you guys use give me some um some products I should try and brow gels because right now I like it but I, I want to find something that doesn't flake and look weird especially because after work I go to the gym or in the morning I go to the gym and sometimes I have makeup on my face because I don't have time to wash it off so I'm like sweating and I'm cleaning my face and then later on I see like all these little white flakes and it just looks crazy okay <laughs> so I would like to find something that isn't you know giving me those issues up our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my brow and how to drawing your brows. I hope I gave you some good tips and tricks and you guys got to be able to take away something from this video. And as always, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know if there's any good brow gels that you use that you'd like to recommend me. As I mentioned before, I want something with good hold but with no flakiness because girl, we know that ain't cute. <laughs> so as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you did like the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, don't forget to share with any friends or family members. Maybe your mom has some type of issue on how to draw in her brows. Maybe you'll find this video somehow useful for her. So go ahead and share it with her. And as always, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I love you so much. Bye.